Hello everyone, welcome to Jurisic Academy. Today we are going to talk about National Anti-Doping Act 2022. Now recently it has been um, passed by the parliament and we are going to get into the features, we are going to get into the aim, the significance of this act. So let's get started. Now before starting this particular video regarding the Anti-Doping Act, I need to tell you two very important things. First is, if you haven't joined the Telegram channel, can you do it? Every day, hundreds of students are participating in the quiz. So, can you, link is given below, join the Telegram channel. And the second is, uh, we have curated a very fine-tuned course for TACP 2023 as only uh, three months, four, three, four months are left for the exam. So, can you go check it out? The link is given below in the uh, description as well. Now, let's get started with the anti-doping act now why it's in the news the recently Lok Sabha has passed the anti-doping bill 2021 this bill basically seeks to create a statutory framework in support of the NADA national anti-doping agency and this bill got presidential assent on 12th August 2022 and that's why we're talking about this particular enactment it is a very recent one, which is an important one for our consideration. Now, before getting into the various features and the significance of this particular legislation, let's understand the basics of it. Doping kya hota hai? Theke? What is doping? What is the situation of doping in India? Let's get into that. So, what is doping? Now, if we talk about doping, doping is taking the external uh, substance into the body Doping is injecting external substance into the body to improve the performance in the sports. Now, what are the external substance? External substance like um, steroids, external substance like uh, erythropoietin. There might be some other techniques of doping also like blood doping. So, there are various methods that are available. I'm not getting into all those stuff, but this is what doping is. Now, what is the situation of doping in India? Now recently the doping issue again came into the picture in relation to Commonwealth Games. Now two uh, athletes, Commonwealth Games uh, bound two athletes uh, recently failed the doping test and they are facing the uh, some suspension regarding that. In the past it has also happened many athletes have failed the doping test. Okay. Now in 2019 WADA World Anti-Doping Agency came out with a report. In that report, uh, it was written that India ranked third all over India among all the world doping violation. Whereas Russia and Italy ranked first and second respectively. Now this doping doesn't necessarily come from one particular or two particular sport or all the particular sports. There are some few sports in which the doping can be found or doping test or doping violation can be found in maximum number like bodybuilding, like weightlifting, cycling, athletics. So these are the uh, basic sports where doping violations are committed. Now due to this regard, the World Anti-Doping Agency requested all the members or country members to come up with their own legislation and that's why we are talking about this. Okay. So what is the previous situation? before this anti-doping act 2022 the previous situation was something like this that there was called there was one agency called nada national anti-doping agency which was set up in 2005 under the society's registration act 1860 and this particular nada national anti-doping agency is monitoring over all those things the test um, the other different doping mechanisms whether the people have taken it or not safe security the measures and NADA's main purpose was to maintain the protocol and the code of conduct that is given by the WADA, World Anti-Doping Agency. But the problem that was there, it doesn't have any statutory backing. So as a result, it is facing a lot of challenges in the code of law. And also, it is imposing a lot of sanction onto the players without having a statutory backup. And that's why Parliamentary Standing Committee on Sports recommended to the Department of Sports to come up with this legislation. And that's why we are talking about National Anti-Doping Act 2022. Right. So what is the basic aim of this particular legislation? The basic aim is pretty simple. The first, 
whatever the waters code of conduct and the protocol that is there that has to be ensured by the nada and the second is uh, definitely national board is to be constituted to look after the all the situation how the national anti doping agency is functioning and uh, how the national anti doping agency is taking care of different tests okay and also ndlt ndtl national doping test doping test laboratory that has to be under the purview of this particular legislation that has been brought forth now these are the main aim through which the in a national anti doping agency is going to work now what are the main features let's get into the main features of national anti doping act 2022 the main features as i already told you the first and foremost is the giving the legal sanctity of the nada that's the first and foremost feature the second is basically building the infrastructure where the people can um, maintain the integrity in and out of the com competition and the third is protecting rights of the person and also independent adjudication mechanism for the doping uh, violation so all those various um, features are there you can see in the screen regarding that and so these are the main features now if i talk about the whole anti-doping act these are the most important things that i have shared with you okay now in the conclusion i need to say that if i talk about nada the most important thing recently in the commonwealth games i already told you that two of the player they have found out the doping violation now they haven't done it voluntarily it is they have done uh, because of lack of awareness and that's why this particular legislation national anti-doping act this brings a lot of awareness among the players that there is some statutory making there is some legislation which is going to overview or oversee all those things okay uh, in relation to anti-doping and also the doping mechanism whether the people are taking it or not whether uh, what substance they are taking in okay so the proper monitoring will be done in this relation too so what do you think whether this particular legislation is a welcome step or not or any particular stringent measure that has to be taken in this particular act please write in the comment box we'll be happy to entertain your comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we come up with recent legal news updates every week and also the important legal case analysis and the event analysis for you people okay in this channel and Clatterlum UGC net preparation is also there. So we are coming up with six videos per week. So subscribe to the channel. See you in the next um, video talking about different topic. Thank you all of you.